Come here, come here, come here. Let me see your butt. Crap monster. <laughs> Man, I wish I wish I could get an elephant man disease on my nuts. They that exists. Dude. I know, dude. Yeah. I've seen the video. The guy the videos has to wear, been bouncing around. He has to on? wear the sweatshirt over yeah. his pants. Yeah, he wears like a onesie. He wears and a he, hoodie. And he just pants. He just bounces around on his balls all day. Dude, I wish that's I could. the life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. I honestly, if, if if I had something like that, maybe I'd I would be BK completely Bulge. fine with being just a zoo animal that yeah. people just like pay Look to at. come. Yeah, because like. Mm. I get I get everything taken care of. You know what you could and do, and I just fucking chill. So, yeah, because what's what's harder? And if you have giant balls that you have to bounce on all day, or giant everything else, or giant everything else is giant is it, everything else, tiniest balls in the world. That's that. No, that's like the most successful man ever. Yeah. But if you have a just giant balls, is it harder to be like go like try to interview to be a bank teller, or is it harder to be a zoo animal? It's, it's probably probably way harder to try to be a normal guy probably easy to be a, a normal guy it's just people will stare at you which but what you could do is get like a, a face teller, tattooed they don't see, on the giant they don't see under but then yeah. but then if you're if, if people are staring at you i would you'd get mad but you wouldn't get mad if they paid you five dollars to stare at you yeah you know oh, like, this is i think we're just good, reinventing the freak bank show teller gets tips <laughs> that's true <laughs> Yeah. Have you not been ten, tipping ten per, your, your bank teller? 10% of everything you yeah, take out of and put check. in. check. Yeah. 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 There's a gratuity. There's a gratuity yeah. included. Gratuity in added. Your, in yeah. your receipt. Yeah. Damn. I have not... I went to the bank today just to put, like, uh, cash in my car, on my, in my account. Yeah. And uh, <clears throat> I, I, I have not walked into a bank in a while. So I, I, Probably I, the last time I walked into a bank was to open up my checking account when i was 17 i used to pay my rent here with a cashier's check those suck yeah it sucks and then i i didn't know i bank of america and the lady it was always the same teller every month and mm -hmm. i guess it and it takes forever it takes like fucking yeah. 15 minutes for them to do it yeah and uh one time at like probably the sixth or seventh time i did it she just was like you know that you can just pay this online because I guess they have some bill pay thing yeah. where they'll like basically just send the, an automated cashier's check. So she just yeah. got mad at me because I would just waste her time every fucking on the, the first of every check, month. Like, does is that the one that costs money too? Yeah, it costs to do like fifteen dollars, like ten bucks. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I got to print it. And so also, big. if you lose it, that is just gone. It's gone. Yeah, yeah they, you yeah. just lose the money. Literally the worst idea. So of I was all so time. terrified walking walking with I remember, my entire yeah, rent back when to I, my when I, when, house when we got accepted for our apartment here. I had to go. I had to get a cashier's check from the bank, and then I had to FedEx it like to to the like to yeah. here from Boston. And so I had to. I had like basically I had an, a, <laughs> like an an envelope in my hand with like thousands of dollars yeah. in it. I had to walk. <laughs> I had to walk from. I had to walk from like alston to to um brookline to get to the fedex store like and it was fucking... windy as fuck <laughs> like the wind was like, like you're the blowing. transporter you just it was it in like terrifying. a jacket or something no i didn't have anything that i could if, well also i feel like it'd be way less secure to put it in like a pocket because it would just like, like versus like holding it in my Any, hand yeah anytime yeah. i have a cashier's check in my hand i expect to be like trying to cross the street and then like a black suburban pulls up and a bunch of like japanese hitmen get out and try to fucking kill <laughs> yeah. me mm. well like if i put or it in a pocket the, it's yeah, gonna the fly out of the year yeah yeah but then and like then because you like the mental thing that happens in your brain you have to hold on to it exactly you know, I know if exactly. i let go yeah. it's gone it i did that yeah, when i would put pay my rent in boston yeah i like, wouldn't yeah it's literally like, what i'll only what hold if it I, in my hand if somebody steals the jacket off my back yeah also if someone steals <laughs> somebody the check, mugs you somebody they can't mugs even you. they can't even cash it it's just like like if yeah. i if i rob somebody and i would just, just frame it and put it on my wall yeah yeah ten thousand dollars just that nobody could ever use my first ten thousand dollars yeah there's a First ten thousand dollars I stole. That's just that's scary, like, dude. That's like having the yeah. like a cash out voucher from a casino. Yeah, exactly. Which is what I do. I have a I cash have, out voucher because I forgot to cash out on the riverboat. I have one for Caesars for a single cent. Yeah, yeah I have a penny. few. I have a few. I kind of want to just collect all my penny ones. Yeah, well, yeah. that's yeah. what you so, save them, you bring them back. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, I just think it'd be funny to have like up. a like 
maybe dis- maybe have like when I'm older, like a, a scrapbook on a my museum. coffee table <laughs> that just like the cover is like maybe a photo of me and Jana at our wedding yeah. or something, and then you and open then it, it's just, all all <laughs> just one cent cash out vouchers from that's casinos. Good. Yeah. yeah, I feel like that's a good idea. Show it to my kids. You can Be make like, like you can make like a museum, like a gambling, yeah. a Caleb's gambling museum. For, I cover an entire room. Yeah, you know, Angela Sawyer in in Boston. She has a she had like her living room was just covered in parking tickets. Just mm-hmm. do that with yeah with uh, Caesar's vouchers for one single penny. I think I'd do that with dollar bills. <clears throat> but yeah. then you, can, you can't. You spend wouldn't be able to spend. I live that's... in a one million dollar home. No, mm-hmm. you would live in a one dollar home. You'd, You'd do yeah, it with one dollar bill. on the wall. But I had to put it up a million times. No, you would put the same dollar up a million times because you couldn't <laughs> yeah. decide where to put it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you'd be so indecisive about it. Do you guys believe in feng shui? Yeah, feng shui. <laughs> Feng shui, feng shui. You believe in feng shui? I never. I think, I don't know. I, honestly, I, I didn't believe in feng shui until that one time you brought it up and we were at Wawa. Wawa is the yeah. is the strongest case for the existence of feng shui I've ever seen because it yeah. just lacks it. It's yeah. Well, it's you just don't the worst. It yeah, it's, this huge clog of energy. Yeah. Completely, it's, it's like, literally uh, just stressful <clears throat> to be in there at all. Feng like, shui just, is like white noise. It's like you don't realize it till it's gone. Yeah, and that's exactly how Wawa is. Yeah, I mean, I think I mean I don't. I think it is like if you go into a house that it like has like everything is like placed fucked up and there's like no space. Like it feels claustrophobic like my, and yeah. shitty. Like like, it, like it feels but, yeah, like your months. apartment. It feels bad to be in there. Like yeah. that's yeah. There's an energy that there's affects a, you. Well, Something, it was way worse when we first moved in, but I still now don't, the I don't like room recording at your that. house. I feel yeah. like I get. I feel like I get distracted. I feel yeah. like I'm recording it's bad a, feng shui. I feel like this I'm in a apartment is, pre- this apartment is pretty house. good feng shui. I feel like yeah, that's why Thank I'm you. never home. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah dude. I just realized that's probably why I'm never home. It's feng shui. It's, yeah, yeah. Shit, feng shui. Feng shui. Oh, that's gonna is real. suck because the winter's feng. coming up. I'm gonna be forced feng into my shui. home. <laughs> feng. Damn. What are you saying? Feng shui. What the fuck are you saying? <laughs> you no, idiot. Feng, not fuck. <laughs> feng shui. F e n g. Yeah, I know it's spelled feng. feng. Shui. No. Wow. Don't like where this is going. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, it's kind of going Muppets right wow, now. Wow, wow, wow. That's better. That's a better direction. <laughs> That's funny. There we go. Yeah. I did find, I found a, this just reminded me, I found a website about feng shui. Um, feng like shui.com. Like a few weeks ago, I was reading, it has a bunch of articles about different feng shui, so let me I can see if I can find it. There was like guidelines of like what kind of welcome mat you can have or not have. So it's like uh, like welcome mats with like like jokes on them. Those are really like negative That's energy. Bad feng shui. Yeah, it will a, like a it says it'll like it's it's better to like kill you to or have something. It in like a like a welcome mat. There's like rules about like there's anyway. rules about the the colors and stuff too. Like there's really? all these yeah. Once okay, I would agree. Any any sarcastic uh, the sarcastic welcome mat. You I don't want to well, stay. You're, at you're that setting place. a bad yeah. Every single day you come home from work and you or like a reference. You're treated with like fucking sarcasm or a, yeah. or a fucking tardis on your right? on your welcome mat. Dude, fuck that. It exactly. also depends on the direction of the door. Mm-hmm. That's like how, how what color the the mat is is really? like depends on which direction the door. I think I'm going to start forget, just believing in forget everything. Forget cutesy sayings and monogrammed mats. No one's home, no rugrats allowed, and beware the cat are guaranteed to chase away positive chi or at least give it pause. Placing your name or initials underfoot just means people are stepping on or wiping their dude, dirty shoes on the Smith Jones residence every time they visit. Why would you want that? Holiday mats should be displayed with extreme care. <laughs> no kitschy or cluttered designs and removed promptly when the holiday period ends. Faded beachy flip-flops in February or happy holidays with poinsettias in July signals that you are lazy or just don't care about the all-important portal at the gate of your home. That's not a good message for guests or good fortune. I will say that on on my street they put up uh, the the they already put up the Christmas decorations. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm getting bad vibes on the street. Dude, Sucks. yeah, I'm getting really you bad put, vibes. That is put, a chi. That is a chi blocker. Yeah, yeah. Those are chi. Those are chi catchers. They are catching the chi. Mm-hmm. Put up the put up like a turkey. You don't have to put up like a yeah. Christmas tree already. Bunch of jingle bells and I fucking hate, yeah, I hate the shells. Yeah. Christmas on November first is horrible. Yeah. That's yeah. the worst. That's been up since since the fifteenth of October. Yeah, no, I saw, yeah. saw it the I saw it on Halloween and I was getting mad. Yeah, no, yeah. it's it's pretty upsetting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And at least if they're gonna be there, at least turn them on. They just they just don't turn them on till December. Yeah, it's like I it's rather bullshit. you know I'd rather have some be- some like beautiful colorful, lights, beautiful, yeah. most beautiful lights. You know, nice lit up Star of David. Why not a cornucopia? Mm-hmm. 
Well, that's the other thing about Thanksgiving is uh, it's a it's a it's a colonizer holiday. So is Halloween. So you ever think about that? So is Christmas. You ever, you ever think about every that? holiday is Easter. Easter is the most colonizer holiday. Eggs fucking me? colonizing the bushes in my backyard. Uh-huh. Little it is rabbit fucking trying to come through. Indigenous fucking... People's Day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a... Big time. Big yeah. time, dude. <laughs> yeah. Do you know why it's on that day? Because of Columbus Because day. of Columbus. Yeah. 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 You know what he did. Mm-hmm. No. He discovered America. Mm-hmm. That's right. And they, col- they colonized that holiday away from him. Yeah, <laughs> dude. They stole it from him. That's right. That's a good point. That's he a, discovered that day. That's and a they, really and they, strong they said, point. He was living on that day for years. And he they, were, they found it. They were like, oh, this is our day. And he had a beautiful culture on that day of being off work and having 14 yeah. beers. Yeah. And then all of a sudden... Indigenous peoples are are taking over now Columbus. Now yeah, making us watch freaking Buzzfeed out. videos yeah, instead. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, what the hell's what, that? Now it's a like holiday where you have to watch Vox dot com. Fucking Carlo tell you that mm-hmm. that, it, that Columbus was actually and where's not my a presents? piece. Yeah. Also, I don't really remember, but I think we used to get presents on yep. Columbus used to get Day presents on and Columbus candy. Day. I remember. I think that's true. You'd I think little, everybody got would, a check. Too. Everyone would dress up like a like the boat. You could pick the Nina, the Pinta, or the Santa Maria, mm-hmm. and you would go around and you would find candy in bushes. And mm-hmm. now you can't even do that because and of now, cancel culture. Yeah, it's fucked up. I used to that used to be a day when the Santa, the Easter Bunny, and the Tooth Fairy all worked together. They mm-hmm. t- they made you me take that? down my my Columbus Day tree. Yeah, they did. Wow. Yeah. Well, were they were they using the wood to make a tiny boat? They made a kayak. And they and they they rode it in the street. Really? Yeah, and they played hip hop real loud too. <laughs> <laughs> I hate these kayaks that are always blasting uh, hip hop so canoes. loud when I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> these kayaks go by. These, these iced out with canoes, the thumping <laughs> subwoofers. God, yeah, dude, it's fucking annoying, dude. Yeah. Horrible when they have the hydraulics on the back of the canoe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah they're floating up and down they're bobbing up and down like they're in the water it's fucking annoying dude oh, man, you know what the next future and like vehicle invention what? should be they should give up on like self-driving cars and shit they should have walking boats yes not yeah. wheels on the mm-hmm. boat either not like a duck boat but uh-huh. like l- robotic legs on a boat you know what we got to bring back what uh fucking the thing where the, you got four guys and they put you on their shoulder oh yeah like a king that what happened with the to poles, that, dude? the chair and the poles. Yeah. Why, why is the Pope the only guy who gets this now? Hmm. Why can't yeah. I have? He has a big bulletproof car with it. it looks like a condom. Yeah. Why can't? We... Is it? Is that what the po- Pope mobile looks like? It's okay. Got, like, how, big... how many people probably? So for every ten thousand like like uh, like Honda Accords, yeah, probably four guys die. Yeah, probably. Right? So why can't we just have those four guys? If you can afford ten thousand Honda Accords. You could just you should just be able to pay to have four guys do that forever from Ford, yeah. Mm-hmm. right? Yeah, Ford. Yeah, that should be okay. Okay, yeah. that should be those guys. That's job. what we yeah. for life. People well, don't like the Boston mess Dynamic up robots. Your car. Yeah, exactly. People don't like the Boston Dynamic robots, but we put them put four of them on a pole. No, no, no. Pole has to, no. Part, a huge part of that setup is suffering. Yeah, yeah. you need, you need to, enslavement. You need That's to very feel, important. You need to, to be experience. sitting there and feel how unlevel it is because there's one person who's obviously you need, yeah, weaker. You need to be able to like kick someone in the back yeah. of the head if they're not carrying you. Yeah, right. and yeah. then, then you got to they, yeah. they, they're carrying you kind of like like using the tension of their arm to just carry you with their wrist. Yeah. you want it on the shoulder. It's like, I wouldn't. I want go a to, bruise there. I wouldn't go to McDonald's if they if the food was automated. Because there's no one to yell at. <laughs> exactly. Also, this food is out here too fast. Put it back. If there's they, too much salt. If McDonald's, <laughs> salt on the right! if McDonald's people, <laughs> I mean, I, I hesitate to call them people. If they, <laughs> if they were as as uh, as uh, cheery as Chick Fil A employees, I, I would not go there. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Chick Fil that Chick-fil-A is Chick Fil A. Yeah, the employees are happy, but the food's good. McDonald's, yeah. the food is terrible, but you're fucking. McDonald's at least you get is, to see McDonald's is like on the, the worst day of their life. That's like the <laughs> modern equivalent. Going to like McDonald's is the modern equivalent of like going to like the gladiatorial games. Exactly. <laughs> you just go to see somebody have literally the worst day of their life. Yeah. And like experience like city suffering McDonald's. in excess of what should be possible at a city McDonald's, a but a small town McDonald's, I feel like they're, they're even worse. Dude. What are you talking Some, about? They, it's the way people sadder. who yeah, the people working at a small town McDonald's. You think they're happy you think they want to be there they i dr- saw a video of a small of a mcdonald's employee hit a blunt 
Dude, the through small the town McDonald's, the people, the people have and to it was drive I went 45 to high minutes with. to fucking get there. Yeah, true. Yeah, and they're all owned by a guy who like yeah. owns every McDonald's in town. Looks exactly yeah. like Porky Pig. It's all. It's, <laughs> I swear to God, yeah. it's like a, always a five that, foot guy with a big fat uh-huh. face who's just completely red. Oh yeah, completely yeah. red. Like like he he has like like he's not bald yet. Oh, he's getting there though. But he has he's like, working on it. Like he's got like slicked back like the last like. Five hairs he has, and he's filthy yeah. rich. Every, uh-huh. every he thinks it's cool to. He has like so many. He's got like six ATVs. Once a month, he goes all, into all every location. He yeah. mistakes five different people. He calls five different people Jose. Uh-huh. There's one guy named Jose. He calls five different people Jose. Yeah, and there. the guy named Jose, Jose doesn't work there. Yeah, he, no, he, he, he's he quit a eight years ago. Yeah, yeah. He but like. He refuses to install any of the new cool McDonald's yeah. shit, like the panels. Uh-huh. They still have the uh, they still have the fucking greenhouse glass on yeah. it. Yeah, and when he goes in, he likes to like give like the the assistant manager or like the manager just like shitty business quips. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah they, he just tells advice. jokes, jokes, and then advice that he has. He tells jokes about. Like, well, about- I've been running this McDonald's for I don't know ten years now, and uh, what I learned is that. Yeah, I mean. You gotta treat the customer. You gotta you gotta greet every customer yeah. with a smile. That's right. Just he, like, and, then, he also, yeah, and then he turns to the other employee and he tells he tells one joke about each woman in the in the yeah. restaurant. Yeah. He also Just th- rapid he fire. thinks he thinks he's like a like a a, a powerful smart business magnet because he yeah. like opened the most popular restaurant in the fucking right. world. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I did pretty well for myself. It was pretty smart of me. I yeah. opened a restaurant that is like fucking selling water bottles in he's the Sahara. He's Spring. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's, he walks it. He also, he walks into the restaurant like a, like a, the one shot, like one take shot at the beginning of a movie where uh-huh. like a guy's like walking through and like talking to everybody. Yeah. And he, like, oh, dude, he yeah. loves opening yeah, that like counter flap. Yeah, yeah. Like that, that counter door. Eyes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, through, like a camera's following talking behind to people. Him. Yeah, yeah, it's like he's about to go. It's it's like yeah. a, the beginning of a Louis special. Yeah. He's like yeah, about exactly. to walk short on sleeve, stage. Short sleeve button down. You can see like a pit stain starting to form. Yeah, you just see you see his tires, his tires of his Subaru, like just pull into the parking lot. That you see like his cowboy boots as he walks out yeah. uh-huh. you pan up the legs are way shorter than you thought they were gonna be <laughs> <laughs> and pans up past his head and then correct yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and then you just see him walk in and then he, yeah he's talking shit to everybody he walks in he asks for a, a thing that's not on the menu that he named yeah. after himself and uh-huh. then they put like a urinal cake the on a Brian. bun <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> just give him the most yeah. disgusting thing of all time something yeah. that does not pass any sort of health code mm. he wants like he, he has, literally like wants a, a burger fu- with ice cream on yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> a filet of fish with the Big Mac sauce. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Something yeah. fucked up like that. Yeah. And then uh, yeah. Yeah, he reprimands somebody, somebody. else b- behind him in line tries to order the same thing and he bans them from the restaurant mm. for life. Yeah. He's yeah. like, that's my thing. They don't yeah. call it the your fucking name. They yeah. call it the brown. Hey, fatso. Yeah. Get yeah. out of here. Yeah, he's, he's way, way fatter. Th- he's way fatter. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Just him trying to like have this, like have the employee like take a bite. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, come on, try it. It's good. They should be. They should put this on the menu. Yeah, I've been in talks to put this on the menu. Yeah, I've, been, I've been talking. To, I've been talking to regional. I've been talking to corporate to put yeah. uh, an or, uh, to something put the on the menu Brian. that's just Roy just, Kroc. Heard of him? Yep, I've been talking to him from the movie. Just, it's just one of the. Uh, it's, it's just a soda cup filled with fries. Yeah. yeah, and he's like, I've been thinking this would be great on the menu. Yeah, yeah he stole. Not, he not, just stole the idea from Five Guys. Right. He went to the Five Guys <laughs> next door and yeah. he came in with a, with a cup of fries and said, "Make this." <laughs> I don't know what this is, but. It's so good. <laughs> See, I think the burgers at Five Guys are pretty good, but uh, can't beat you can't oh. beat a free burger yeah, for my I, own. I know all this McDonald's needs is one guy, me. Mm. I know that guy in my hometown. Which, yeah, yeah. The, the the McDonald's man in my hometown, Mr. McDonald's. He went to my mom's church. Yeah. What was his name? His name was Tim. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Oh, he was man. Uh, exactly how I just. I mean, just yeah. completely Porky the pig. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he like he like waddles. He's one of those dudes who wears jeans that go up to his nipples. Oh hell yeah! yeah. He's got a power little ass, white button so. down. And this guy fucking this guy would do anything for Jesus Christ. Oh yeah, yeah. dude, he would fucking he'd do anything except fucking sell McDonald's or pay taxes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, the day that the day that he comes in and works a shift for like twenty minutes. Oh uh, yeah, and he thinks oh, yeah. And yeah. He, oh, dude, that's always the you know what you know that like st- 
stench that you start smelling in a restaurant when the owner walks in plain clothes and just starts like asking people how their food is. Yeah. yeah. And oh, then it's and horrible. then dude, make it you know what the best though is if if they're like, Hey, is like everything going good? And you know this guy's like a millionaire and you're like, Yeah, could I get a could I get a sprite, please? And then that guy has to go get you a sprite. Yeah. That's mm-hmm. so sick. Yeah. yeah. That's the best feeling yeah. ever, dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, what you, he's what not, you he, should, when they walk up and, and ask you everything, just be like, who are you? Yeah. What, yeah. what are you doing? Why don't you have... You're going to get not, fired. Yeah, you're, you're not, not dressed a, like everyone else. <laughs> dude, that's you're like, not a waiter. Yeah. Why don't you have... The, yeah. <laughs> why don't you have your skimpy little Hooters shorts yeah. on? Uh, we're <laughs> busy over here. Yeah. Yeah. That was like when I worked at Cracker Barrel and like the corporate guys had to come in because they were like... There's like a shit ton of fights that kept happening between the kitchen. Mm-hmm. And, uh, one of one of the guys like checked my bag to see if I was stealing food. <laughs> like like one of the like this. He thought he was gonna fucking open up. Yeah. So you see pork and beans filled yeah. to the brim. So I don't. I I ordered food before I my shift ended, and the guy was like, uh. Yeah, you know, just company policy. I got to check that real quick. And I was like, man, what the what? fuck? Yeah, that's dude, crazy. That's crazy. Slick crazy, man. It looked dude. like Sebastian Maniscalco. <laughs> like, <laughs> Next time that happens to me and one of the managers come up and they're in plain clothes, I'm going to pretend I don't know they work there. I'm going to be like, you should get on this. We're planning on bombing this restaurant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're planning on just fucking <laughs> dropping a stick of dynamite in the kitchen or running. Yeah. Would that be cool? You should get in on this. Yeah, dude. we're going to put this in all the deep fryers. Yeah. Or, or, or also, like, a guy comes up and he's like, He's like, ah, like, can I get you anything? And you just, uh, since he's not dressed, you think he's like messing around. You're like, yeah. oh yeah, uh, yeah, I also work here. Can I get you anything? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Get start get up. You <laughs> walk to every table. <laughs> can I get you oh, something? Oh, oh, look, I'm that guy. Oh, yeah. I think oh, I work here. <laughs> me, me, we're pretending to work here today. It's gonna be really funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I uh, uh, the guy who owned the the Jersey Mike's that I used to work at. He he was he was like the hardest worker ever though yeah yeah he was like it was clear that he uh he opened the store with his wife and then his wife left him so all he had was that restaurant and he was like trying to pay fucking like alimony and shit and he was just struck he probably worked like 60 hours a week my bet my best uh my go-to is the number seven that one I can make in under six seconds flat. <laughs> just like he was shit like that he taught me how to fucking roll up the sandwiches bro yeah whoa to skill I will have for the rest of my life. Oh yeah, dude, me too. Yeah. I know how to fold the. Uh, so you know, it's the same thing. I know how to fold the pita. I know how to fold the the paper for the pitas at Clover Food mm. Lab. I can I, I can still do that in my sleep. Yeah, you can't do that in your sleep. I can do that in my sleep. You can't, you can't do, do, do anything, dude. I can sleep. get I can get that sandwich out in six seconds flat. You can't not do in that your sleep. <laughs> in your sleep, I can do bro. it in my sleep. No, you can't. Yeah, I could do it in my sleep. Yeah. Oh, another thing about that Cracker Barrel guy is he used to call me Chief. That's that cool. pissed me off so much. I don't know why. Just like him, just being uh, like, Chief oh, what's up, Chief? Like, Have I told you guys about that? my, my friend's dad who hates being called Chief? No. Oh, yeah. I, I know. Maybe I've, I don't think I said it on the podcast, but I have a friend who's, uh, his dad is like Puerto Rican, and uh, when he was like at work, some guy started calling him Chief because he like, like just as a thing that he said, yeah. but, but th- this guy's dad took it as this guy thought that he was Native American. <laughs> <laughs> and it pissed him off so much that he like tried to like fight the guy at work about it. Damn. And then and so he, everyone knew that this guy hated being called chief. And then my older brother one time when they were like sixteen, he like brought some other sixteen year old over to this guy's house. And before he met the guy's dad, he was like, "Just so you know, this guy he doesn't like being called by his name. He only likes being called chief." <laughs> and so the guy walks out to like meet them in the driveway. And uh, my brother's friend is like, hey, nice to meet you, Chief. And then this grown man just punched this 16-year-old in the face. <laughs> <laughs> he got so mad about it. It's so it's so up. cool. <laughs> yeah, and he's just like, I'm not Native American. <laughs> getting so offended of like by getting called... Yeah. Native American that you punch somebody in you the face. You punch a child? <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. so insane. Funny, you had another really good, like, like before you meet somebody prank is... Um, my, my dad, my uncle like did this to my dad before it's like, he was like bringing his friends over to like hang out with my dad. And, but like, I guess before they hang out, he like told all the people like, just so you know, like he's like super hard of hearing and he's like really insecure (laughs) about it. So just like talk really loud and like, but don't bring it up. Like, don't (laughs) just go over and be like, hi there. Like, how are you? And he's like, what the fuck is going on? 
That's they just so did that the entire funny. time. It's yeah. so good. Yeah, yeah, Dude, it's, it's such a good. That, that type of shit's so funny. It's so funny. It's yeah. the best. It's the best. To, like the just making somebody feel like they're in a dream. <laughs> yeah, like yeah, they're going crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So fucking funny. Yeah, it is good. I got like a hair in my eye. No, oh. that's called an eyelash. No, um, I don't have. Should those. we do this list? You no. know, I don't got those. Yeah. We could do, we're you, doing ever, you ever thought about cutting your eyelashes, eyelashes off? Speaking of thinking, this is a thinking man's episode, yeah. which I'm sure you could tell already. I mean, we've already tackled a lot of in. serious Some subjects. Some heady mm. concepts. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. already basically are just more powerful. Basically like this thinkers. Rah, rah, rah. This, this is um, thinkers t- of stinkers. Top 10 mind-blowing philosophical ideas to think about. Um, and it says, philosophy has always been a weird subject to wrap your head around, and this list contains some of the most mind-blowing philosophical comments, concepts and ideas for a person to think and wonder about. I I think this might cause this this could cause a crisis in my life if some yeah. of these blow my mind too hard. This yeah. could this could yeah. cause the listeners to have a brain blast. I'm smart yeah. enough that I could handle this, but I think some listeners may want to turn this off. Mm-hmm. If you point. have somebody who's very mentally weak in the car with you, maybe a child you should probably mm-hmm. turn this off. Yeah, or yeah. put the child out of the car. Or put the child out of yeah. misery. Just put it out put of the... the just put, put it out of Just misery. snuff it. Put the just, child... Just put it out put like a child in a home. Yeah, just snip that... Just the thread of fate. Mm-hmm. Sever it. Um, number one... Sever the child. <laughs> is Sever the child. The sorite, sorites, sorites. So I looked this up. Paradox. So this is pretty genius. I looked, so freaked I looked this paradox. up. This is... Uh, uh, wait, no. This person just explains it. That's fine. Yeah. Would you allow someone to cut off one of your fingers if they paid you one cent? Well, boys, answer that, please. Yes. yes. <laughs> do we, wait, do I get to choose the finger? Yes. Pinky. Okay, you also yeah. get to choose what kind of penny it is so you could choose like a, really, okay, like yeah. a million dollar yeah. penny yeah, exactly i feel like i feel like a missing pinky is a cool enough look that i'd do it for a cent mm-hmm. yeah i could make pinky, that work I, if i i would lose my left hand pinky if it was painless i would yeah. probably just do it yeah like i've never not? used yeah. this finger and yeah that would just be cool it would it would be you know? cool it would be I'd interesting get, it's a conversation like starter a, and they'd be like oh how'd you lose that and be like for a penny Honestly, I could probably get like a 15 minute Comedy Central special if I lost probably, this. Probably, yeah. The comedian with no pinky. Yeah, with just, with who only. Yeah, has, everyone, yeah. yeah. The, oh, the so only you're probably way, wondering how this yeah. happened. The well, only, basically, I made a deal with a guy on a website and I got one cent for it. So, yeah. hmm. nobody remembers your name. You're just, you're the one pinky Pink, guy. Pinky, yeah. The comedian. <laughs> yeah. You know, that, that one guy with one pinky, that exactly. one comedian. Yeah. Uh, probably not. If, or, okay, a restart. Would you allow someone to cut off your fingers if they paid you for one cent? Probably not. How about $4 billion? I know I would, and I'm confident that you probably would too. This establishes two things, that there are sums of money that you will accept to cut off your finger, and there are sums of money that you will decline to cut off your finger because of how money works. The Genius. difference between the highest <laughs> figure you'll say no to and the lowest figure you'd say yes to is exactly one cent. These numbers objectively exist, but they're impossible to grasp. Pick the lowest number you can think of accepting and tell me honestly that you'd decline a counter offer of exactly one cent less. So that <coughs> is not an explanation of this at all. So what I, from what I understand about the so, so rights prod paradox... The soft, the, mm, just the try, so just, you got, you already got it. You already so got it. So paradox is that this this whole thing is just would you suck a dick for one million dollars? Yeah, yeah. It's just that's but they the had to, they had to reframe it for books. Uh-huh. Yeah, because that yeah, I mean that, that's been that. around yeah. since caveman times. I know. Yeah. Would you? How many rocks would it's you suck a dick for? Since before money. Yeah. yeah. Would you suck a dick for for ten rocks? They were yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, they were like, would you suck a, a dick for a million dollars? And they were like, I don't know what dollars <laughs> is, <laughs> but yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we haven't invented dollars. Well, they started with that question, and then they they were like, I guess we finally should invent dollars. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess we should. It's high time we put something. Yeah, <laughs> we've yeah. had shekels and rupees. We need yeah. to, but let's. Just just finally, let's get dollars out of the way, and yeah. that's why they started America. Yep. Yeah, yeah. So that so someone that, could get their dick sucked for yeah. one million. Someone been asking for quite a long uh-huh. time. Yeah, nobody had ever gotten their dick. The sucked The first before. millionaire only existed because he wanted to get sucked. <laughs> What's so your? Bad. Wh- which one is higher? Your suck a dick number or your lose a pinky number? Um, They're exactly the same. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're both pure pain. <laughs> I think the pinky one's probably higher because, like, maybe I would miss it. Yeah, pinky. That's a more permanent effect on your life. Yeah. Also, yeah. the suck a dick question is always. I've always been confused about what kind of time frame we're working with here. Yeah. Do I have to suck a dick forever? 
Like to like if I've if, never if, never thought about that. If the guy, if, the, <laughs> if it's forever, I'm what not gonna do it? Because what like if that it's... would be the genie, the genie twist, mm-hmm. yeah. right? Yeah, because it works like the lottery, where it's like, oh, like would you you, you can get the one million dollars in one lump sum, or over the course of your life, <laughs> a like dollar a day. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder, like, but you have to suck one, you have to suck a dick every day. But like, if or the at least guy, if the guy has like, like, what if I, what if they're like, okay, suck that guy's dick to completion, and it's like somebody who. Who, like he has no come. feeling yeah. below their waist mm-hmm. and i'm just like sucking a limp dick forever for a million dollars that's not good to me i guess if it's a genie asking the question should yeah okay probably so say ge- no. genies are tricky well, here's i'll the, say genies are tricky people here's yeah. the yeah. here's the here's the here's another question so if it is the 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 lottery thing would you suck would you suck one dick a year for like thirty three thousand dollars a year, probably until if, you if get was, the million. If it was like ten minutes, like yeah, I don't care. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Well, thirty three thousand—that's maybe not enough. Well, th- I mean thirty three hundred. Oh no, <laughs> no. If it was like thirty three hundred thousand. If it was a, f- if it was a uh, thirty three thousand dollars isn't enough. I have dyscalculia. I can't go past. It would 33, just be. 000. It would just be because that's not enough to just like live on comfortably. Mm-hmm. It would just, so, so you want to suck a dick, and also that you want that to be your job. Yeah, is what you're saying. I, I do think it I want to be a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd do that. Yeah, if, if not I, like a supplemental thing. Like you want that to be yeah. how you support yourself. If I had one, if I had to, yeah, because I like doing nothing. So <laughs> I had, if I had one like fucking John that I sucked off. Like once, once a, a year, year. Yeah. yeah, and he and he was like a rich Saudi prince or something. Yeah, yeah, dude, I'd do that. Yeah, a hundred percent. Like, if it, like sixty grand, I would do that too. Yeah, like like public school teacher salary <laughs> for like fucking sucking a guy off one day. Mm-hmm. I'll even do. I'll do all day. Like, I'll I'll have a three hundred and sixty four day year. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, and then just one day is just a just a wash, just because I I just fucking sucked him. Yeah, a but man's then penis. The, the think think about like, do would you know what day is dick suck day? <laughs> that would be the big thing to me. Uh-huh. That's why yeah. thirty three wouldn't I work. I think it would just be I like sprung up on you at random. I wouldn't drop everything going on. Like if I had, if, if I was like like what if I'm like about to walk down the aisle on my wedding day? Yeah, and, and then, then I get like, and then, then, you then get my the call. You I get, get a text. I, the big red phone on my yeah. desk rings. It plays that. Well, like, that's that, if you um, don't have a job. If that's your job, you got to do it. I guess it on plays call. that. I got five yeah. on it remix from us. You're waiting. You're walking down, and then your phone just goes dun dun dun. <laughs> You're just like, oh shit! Fuck, I gotta dude. suck a dick today. I think the uh, the big thing would be for thirty. If it was thirty three thousand, and I had to do it once every year, I would be worried that I would have some kind of like, what if I got really successful and then I'm making like like eight hundred grand a year, but then still one day of the year I have to go suck a guy's dick well, for thirty k? You have to. You I can't think it's, it I think it's a binding contract. Yeah, oh. I think binding could, contract like like. Twenty twenty five thousand dollars for over four years. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. If there was a guy four, I could I I would totally. If there's a guy who did suck that, off a guy for twenty five. Let's call him. Let's call him Patches. If there's a guy named yeah. Patches who's hiring me to do that once a year, like he probably would. He probably sue me for everything I have if I didn't suck his dick. Yeah, yeah. You know, because we had a, a binding thing. That's yeah, true. That, okay. That's why the pinky thing is better because it's one and done. Yeah. You know, you lose one pinky, they're not going to reattach it and take it back off. Yeah. Would mm-hmm. you, would you, so you'd rather, would you rather, you'd rather suck a dick four, four times four for $25,000 than four one years. time for 100000 What? Really? I did the math wrong. I thought that added up to $1 million. <laughs> It would be two hundred fifty thousand dollars <laughs> four times. That's up to a million. I can't, dude, you know I can't. I know. Speak numbers. It's <laughs> You'd rather get you $100,000 like to... than a million. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably... Yeah, I'm lowering uh, yeah. the price, $25 <laughs> four $25. times. $25. That's a million. <laughs> a 20, 20, I would do it for $25 over the course of one weekend. Yeah. <laughs> Um, this is the number two mind-blowing philosophical thought. Linguistically, it's possible for two people to have a conversation that each believes to be meaningful, but actually has no meaning because one or both of them don't know what they're talking about. This happens to me all the time. <laughs> this, uh, yeah, I feel like that's 
that's pro- you probably experience this a lot. Huh? I experience this every day of my life. Would yeah. you consider it to be philosophical when it happens? Indu- indubitably, I mind do. blowing. Mm-hmm. In fact, I concur that um, this. T- <laughs> yeah, continue. Keep going. <laughs> I, can't, I can't keep keep going. Like that. I cannot say that. I yet. cannot keep. I cannot. No I cannot continue this I cannot line keep of speaking that way. <laughs> in that regard, he said something. What did you say last night? That rather. Oh yeah. R- oh yeah. He said. All rather. I said was rather. I had never heard you say rather before. You said something and then corrected yourself by being like rather, and then the correct thing. <laughs> and I was like, it really. St- it was like a sore thumb, dude. It's really stuck out. I do that like all the time. <laughs> You're changing, dude. You're going Hollywood on me. Yeah. You started to say rather? <laughs> the fuck, man? What? I think you guys made My... fun of me so hard once. Because I, I think I was asking if we would bring the mics to North Carolina oh. <laughs> or something. Or like. What did you say? Oh, uh, I forget what I said. He said something crazy. I said, oh, yeah, like, uh, like ultimately, like, it doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, yeah. He said, ultimately, it doesn't matter. Ultimately, it does not matter to me. <laughs> yeah. And then I, I did not know why I was getting flamed for that. For saying ultimately, ultimately. Yeah. <laughs> because I would say there's probably not a higher stake word to set up a sentence with than ultimately, ultimately. because that that kind of establishes that it's the most important thing. Mm-hmm. And then for you to follow it up by like, it doesn't oh, dude, matter. Even better. I, I, Did you look I, it I searched it in, in my oh, iMessage. It wasn't, it wasn't ultimately, it doesn't matter. It was, it was a, a home turf episode would be good, but ultimately pointless. <laughs> ultimately pointless. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> ultimately pointless. Oh, that, was, that was a Boston thing. That ultimately, ultimately ethereal. <laughs> yeah, oh, I we, would find this. We got him all right. Yeah, that we did. I don't talk like that. Are we dude. tearing him up? I the... said. I said. You said. But ultimately pointless. Mm, yes, I said. Studying for the SATs. <laughs> you said fruitless and futile. Our attempt to record would be. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I find it would be rather inane in nature to convey our equipment yonder. (laughs) And then Patrick said, I'm downstairs. (laughs) (laughs) You know, you know, I was just fuming on the train. (laughs) Yeah. Just like, oh, fuck. Like, why the fuck did I say that? I thought that that made so much. I thought, oh, fuck. I thought that made sense. Number three most philosophical concept ever is no matter what you do, you will be plagued by regret. For example, if you marry, you will regret it. But if you don't, you will regret that too. Damn. This person sounds sad. Yeah. This idea also gives you the advice, live for what you have, not for what you Mm. could have had. Yeah, live free or die. Mm. Here's here's a comment from Rocco. I could express my thoughts, but if I do, everyone will think that I'm one of those people who rambles on. If I don't, people will think I'm one of those people who looks through lists and never vote on anything. <laughs> if I write this, people will see it on my profile and think I'm weird. If I don't include this in my wording, people might have no idea what I'm talking about. Just like the first item on this list, which is about people not understanding what you're saying. Never mind. I'm definitely one of those people who rambles. Damn, Rocco. I think Rocco took too many Benadryl. Yeah. <laughs> Not Rocco doing got very a, well. Rocco got a visit from the Shadow Man. True. Dude, I've been reading all about that shit's so funny. Yeah. I knew some people in high school who did Benadryl and like fucking like uh, uh, DXM and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I didn't realize how crazy it is. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it's so funny, dude. Yeah, it's like you just it's like a objectively terrible drug that people just do because it's like like kids just do it because it's like in their house. Yeah, because right? it's easy. You can't get yeah. weed yet. You don't know. Well, I, yeah, I was thinking weed. about, like, we used to, like, the big thing in my, like, group uh, growing up was, like, 2-5-I, like, in bone shit, you know? Like, the research chemicals that mm-hmm. are, like, insanely strong, just make you crazy. Yeah. And I was like, I guess that's kind of the same thing. That and, like, K2. Yeah. You know, I didn't, I, 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 I never did Benadryl yeah. and shit. That's funny. You know, yeah. Or, like, well, nutmeg. The one, yeah, I was going to say yeah, nutmeg is the funniest dude. one. I tried to smoke nutmeg. You, you, you don't smoke it, you boil it. You boil it? You boil yeah. it and drink the I water. Heard, I heard from Mansers that you smoke it. Mansers was trying to... They, they, they threw you off yeah, the Yeah, I remember reading mm. trip reports for Nutmeg, and it's like, they're all like... They're all like, I had a nightmare in real life. And then there's there was one that was like, <laughs> I went blind for two hours and fell down in the shower. <laughs> Dude. One of the... Ben- I did a deep dive on it yesterday. One of the Benadryl ones I saw, a guy took 4,000 milligrams of Benadryl, and then he like... 
immediately like lost consciousness and then woke up and looked he like looked down at the couch and saw his body and then he walked outside and his entire family was uh uh be was being crucified on his front lawn <laughs> like uh, on Holy crosses shit. and they were like why did you do this to us and then he walked inside and he had to fight his dog <laughs> And then uh, uh, it's so funny that just like that that does that Benadryl. Yeah. Does, and, yeah. Oh, and then he went. Into, he like, said he went into a white void of like that that episode of SpongeBob where he like time <laughs> oh, travels, yeah. and he says that he was there for seven years, <laughs> and that he like it like replaced seven years of his real memory, and then he just woke up in the hospital, and he was like, "Don't do this drug." Like I, I they said that I have like I'm like mentally disabled now, <laughs> and also I have to do dialysis every week. <laughs> God damn, dude. It's like, That's so sick. And people still do it. Dude. That's yeah. so, so funny, awesome. dude. I mean, it's just like you're just trying to kill yourself, I guess. Right? Yeah. Yeah. It's just a, a horrible way to die. That's awesome. Dude, it's when I so want to do it. When I smoke nutmeg, I put it in a post it note. <laughs> You just that's just like a that's like a uh I put it in a post-it That's like note making a potion in your backyard. <laughs> back. did, did it do anything to you? It's that's happened to me multiple times when I was like in the eighth grade, I think I like dissected a cigarette butt that like it was in an ashtray and mm-hmm. put it in a post-it note and tried to smoke it. And I did that with tea too, but every time I like I was like, you know, trying to like roll it up in the post-it note because the sticky, like the adhesive thing. And like I would like try to like smoke it and then like tilt my head back like just a little bit and just like <laughs> inhale everything that was in the post it note. Did he did you get high? No. Didn't work. You got you have to do a lot of nutmeg. One yeah. time when yeah. I was when I was in the fourth grade, just remember this, got got in a lot of trouble for this. Cause I heard the term smoking grass. So I, I I went outside and I got a bunch of grass from the ground and I put it in a, a piece of paper. And I tried to light it. You were doing this as a as a as a fucking nine year old. That's like honestly really doing, impressive that you're not a drug addict. I was doing it when I was nine, and, and then and then I think like that's some like million little pieces yeah, shit. Yeah. My 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 mom. <laughs> in the closet because I got just skin. blades of grass. <laughs> blades of grass in, the, in a piece of in a piece of notebook paper. I think I, I think I hit it. I think my brother and I shared a closet at the time because we like shared a room, and I was just like, "Who did this?" You got it. How do you even get I in thought, trouble for that? I was yeah. trying to like plant it on my brother. <laughs> <laughs> did you get in trouble for... i think my mom was just like i mean like how do you get so yeah. fucking stupid how do you get mad at a kid for that my mom was pissed because like i was burning shit yeah i was yeah. burning grass in the paper but she was like just kindling just, just like the look on her the, the look on her face of just disappointment that i was yeah. like trying that's to like worse than our grass. than my kid because like if you if your kid is nine years old and you find like a joint in his ha- in his room yeah. that's your an con- actual problem well it's a problem but also you're like he's kind of like competent if you yeah. can like do if you can nine get that, years old yeah. and not, buy weed and fucking roll a joint not, yeah. not a piece of notebook paper with the grass <laughs> How did I get into college? I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know, dude. I don't know how you're alive, honestly. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's the blue lines that get you high. Yeah. On the notebook That's paper. True, actually. Yeah. Yeah. You can feel it because as you smoke it, it'll be period where you're not high, and then it gets to the blue line, and you go, the whoa. Movie too. That ink. What? Really? I was watching the Woodstock movie, <laughs> and that's what inspired me to do it. <laughs> <laughs> that is like honestly one of the stupidest things <laughs> I've ever heard in my life. That is so funny. Yeah, was awesome. I, was, I was a fucked up kid. Fucked, but not like a cool, not like jaded, cool fucked up. No, you're just like a, like uh, you I were like I was a, just impressionable. You were like a dog's yeah. intelligence. <laughs> That's insane, dude. That is crazy. <laughs> I can't. I can't believe I fucking. I just remembered that. Damn. Oh, fuck, man. Dude, that was. 
I mean, my my older brother almost getting in trouble for it. Maybe having to be like, it was me. I'm sorry. I Just admit the, the that wave, I the wave of disappointment that washed yeah. over my mom's face. That's so funny. <laughs> uh, number four is the idea of moral luck and how it affects the goodness of people. What? Getting getting banned like from listening to the Who as a nine year old. <laughs> <laughs> You better not be wearing tie dye <laughs> yeah. in the house, dude. Because you fucking put grass in a you made a taco out of grass and notebook paper. It definitely wasn't rolled well no, either. Dude, no. It was like it was like twisted at the end, like Yeah, I mean <laughs> dude, the fucking like, just imagining what it looked like <laughs> to, to my parents, like them finding it and being like, Is that a joint? And then like inspecting further and just being like what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. It's not, only, it's not not a joint. It's just nothing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it like, might as well not even... I mean, it's just like yeah. pocket length, basically. <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. Um, I don't really know what this means. I don't care. This yeah. Number yeah. five. This one's, sound, this one's smart. Number five. The notion of solipsism. The very notion of the solipsism. The notion of solipsism. I feel myself becoming a bit intrigued by this item upon this list. Mm. Solipsism or shall I say is, sequence? Uh, solipsism is just, it's all in your brain. Solipsism is, yeah, you're the only person that exists. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's true. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's true, too. Yeah, I think it's me, though. Yeah, I, I think it's also you. <laughs> What? Wait, Pat. I mean, I messed mm. up. I, it's me. Yeah, it's me. What, I no, have internal Pat, thoughts. Who's the only real person? Me or you? Probably me. What? No, it's and he me. Didn't, he didn't hesitate either. I don't know. You guys are giving me bad vibes. I feel like it's... Now, I didn't actually think that. Now, I kind of feel like it's true. Yeah, it's true. Not true. It's true for me. You are covering <laughs> your tracks. I don't like that at all. Uh, this, this could, Ro, oh, here's Rocco well, yeah, again. This could be good. true, in your case anyway. I mean, I'm not real. I'm a bloody cartoon. Bloody cartoon. You think I hope he's, he's not bloody. Yeah, that's hey, a skip. Hope, yeah, bloody what cartoon. We're we talking about happy tree friends. Yeah, what is this? The what Simpsons the Treehouse of Blood? Yeah, what's this? The South Park Kenny yeah, special Park's spectacular? Kenny gets blood all over yeah. him. Because all his, because... Something happened to him. Here's the thing: a lot of people make they make fucking they make two hour fucking videos on YouTube about how Marge is mistreated mm-hmm. and about how she should be. Yeah, you know she needs has yeah, respect she's for not. like some guy who made like a forty five minute, like an hour forty five minute video of him like revisiting iCarly. <laughs> Yeah, like, and they talk the about how, that? how all these women in cartoons and shit are not are not always yeah. on TV aren't treated well. How about Kenny? That's right. Kenny gets <laughs> fucking killed by a by a spike every episode. He should get his own show where he gets to live and thrive. Exactly. He should get a show. There should be. He should never die again. Yeah. He should get like his own his own like uh his like a Shira. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yeah. I would jump in front of a bullet for Kenny. Me too. I wouldn't. Yeah. Why? Do you know it's a cartoon? Do you know there's like South Park uh Park. like role players? Really? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah those are great. Yeah. Like, so like like LARP? They'll be yeah, no, like on like uh Twitter and stuff and they'll yeah. be like they'll be like I'm like, hi, my name is Michael Cartman. I just moved to, to the town. I'm mm. really excited to make new friends. I'm Eric's, I'm Eric's uh, younger cousin. Yeah. What? Yeah, really? Shit like yeah. that. Like inventing new characters? Mm-hmm. Yeah, making like, uh, like what's it? OCs. Yeah. Yeah. South Park mm-hmm. OCs. And what's like OC? Original character. That's Some people so make like their own like Sonic cool. character and mm-hmm. stuff. But oh, yeah. it's like oh, yeah, I know the Sonic for, thing. But for mm-hmm. South Park, yeah, they do that for South Park. Like Sonic character, people like, it, do it for everything. It makes you more know sense they do it if it's South a video Park. game, but like for South Park, no, that, South, that is so like they do it for South no Park because there's like fucking five hundred like <laughs> South Park yourself fucking Flash games. It's easy, so it's yeah, real to easy. South Park Sonic, yourself. you got to hand draw that shit. I texted, I texted my mom asking her if she remembers finding the the grass joint in my closet, and she didn't remember that I was that young. She says, you were that young. I hope I beat your ass. <laughs> nice. Which probably happened. I don't know. Yeah, I'm sure she uh, did, dude. She's yeah. looking for excuses. What's this? A blade of grass? Just <laughs> 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 beating the shit out of your kid because they just fucking had a, yeah. a piece of grass <laughs> piece in there. piece of grass. <laughs> you probably thought this was drugs. Toilet paper. You're so stupid. <laughs> bam, 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 dude. Fucking sick. Number six is possibly the most intriguing yet fascinating entry. Okay. Um, number six is you can have a doppelganger millions or even billions of light years away. Whoa. I don't think so. That's I have deep. a few doppelgangers. It's you have you? many. Mo- yeah. I would say mo- most people kind of look like yeah. you. Yeah. yeah. I think I think Streeter said it, but every country has a Patrick. Yeah, that's mm. true. 
because there was that um there was that did you guys see that video of the the like there's like a really fat cop on TikTok? <laughs> no. In like the Ukraine. They look like oh, you? He looks like me. Yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> you just have a very yeah. you just look very plain and kind of nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of just like a just blur. Like, <laughs> no, yeah. Just, you yeah. Look, have you seen you know like you know Slender Man? Yeah. Yeah. yeah kinda, you got, almost not like, Slender Man. Mm-hmm. You just yeah, but you just have like kind of no facial features like, that stand out at all. Like a Lego the back of a Lego guy's head. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Just like, I look like the question. <laughs> you look yeah. like you're gonna. It looks like you're gonna turn around and there will be an actual guy mm. on that side. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You kind of just. You look like a Halloween mask. Yeah. Like anybody could purchase it and put it on their face. Mm-hmm. You know. The worst comparison, I think, is right when, now. You kind of look like a pumpkin with your hat and your and your yeah. your that. I've thing. always wanted to look like a pumpkin. <laughs> really? Yeah, I can tell. Yeah. I, well, if I looked like a pumpkin, my hat would be green and my face would be orange. That's a you good also, point. You also, you clearly yeah. have a like pumpkin. freaking Donald Trump. Mm-hmm. We, he loves his green hats. Quick He's a, pause. All his supporters are wearing green hats all the mm-hmm. time with the words on it. Quick pause, yeah, Cameron. Yeah, and fire trucks, they're green too. I will say. Cam, you're on fire today. <laughs> yeah. You're crushing. I will say, fuck, that was remember, so remember the MAGA jack-o'-lantern hat? Dude, honestly, dude. That thing every, was fire. Every that was single the piece of hat. Let's admit it, dude. Every single if, if Virgil Abloh came out with the MAGA shit, that would have been on everybody would have been on. Oh yeah. That it's shit like, it just like fucking just serif text on a, it's a like, cool hat. It's cool as fuck, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it's been so it's sick. been four years now. I think we can say it. I think dude, we can I'm, say it without I'll fucking I'm wearing it right now. Yeah. I'm wearing it right I did, now. dude. I wanted I'm to get my hair out. Did I show you guys this? Oh, I oh, saw yeah. it the other day. I think I'm just it's gonna pretty think good. I'm going for it. Dude, I'm Can I see can you can you like lean the top of your head? Yeah, yeah, let me. You look have at to that. go for I'm it. Full halal card. You right gotta go for it. That. Oh man, dude. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're it's, growing it back out. Not really, because I think I can't stand to do it much longer. But no, it, please it stick so with funny. it. Dude, stick you should. It. You should at I, least I get get to Q-tip level. Q-tip level bald head. Oh really? You, you know? think I should do that? Like like when I whenever I would shave my head and it, I would just have like completely like rounded hair. I don't remember that. You don't remember that? I shaved my head like a year ago. No, I'm gonna get. I kind of want to grow it out. And go like, uh, like, like Walton Goggins. Oh yeah, you should just shave the, <laughs> the, the part up front. Uh huh. So that I have a nice, ba- like, really far back hairline. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That would be sick. Oh, uh, you yeah. get like the the chairman Mao. That's the problem. Is that yeah. I still have hair at the front, so it's yeah. b- it's bad. I want to have just a hair, like yeah, you mean no just hair, shave, until just shave that part. Down. Mm-hmm. It's probably a good idea. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe go full fryer tuck on them. Yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah. I don't know if they could handle it. Yes, yeah, sir. I think I might might make too many women fucking cream and squirt walking down the street. <laughs> could be. Fucking cream well, that's and the thing. I, I, like maybe people like I don't know. Maybe people are just so used to the bald now. You know. Maybe they are. I'm used to the bald. Yeah. I look in the. I don't. I even, think you grow your hair out. I shave my head. No. Maybe that's no. Because the, then I'm trapped. With yeah. the worst hair Well, then ever. I'll, I'll just regrow my hair. It won't be a big deal. <laughs> Don't shave your head. Yeah. I think I might shave my head, too. We could just... I mean, I, that was actually... That's better than just two of us having it. That'd be yeah. pretty Because all three of us had yeah. shaved heads. I'm not But only one of us is bald. <laughs> 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 That'd be cool. Number uh, seven is the problem of induction. I don't know what that means. I mean, well, that makes sense that you wouldn't understand yeah. this one. Yeah, I actually understand. That's it right. To Me such and Pat an understand it perfectly. No, you know, it's that this guy is such a a, a mental moron that he he <laughs> phrased it so simply, with such simplicity, rather I should mm. say. In, instead, the words of, of a dimwit seem to ring true to many. Mm. I concur. He concurred. Mm-hmm. I and you concurred. You can turn. Number eight Not is my slugs house, are just snails without homes. Damn. Is that tick- Throw this on a snort tea. It's a bit of a drop. <laughs> right quick. Yeah, that. Talk about a fucking a bad welcome mat. Chi yeah. style. True. Yeah. Yeah. How do I get some more chi also? Like what? Chi. You have to figure out what direction. I mean, you well, just go to the deli, want, ask the guy for half a You could meditate, I think. I, honestly, I didn't believe in chi or energy in spaces until we started going to casinos. Yeah. And then I feel energy like... Energy in spaces that shit makes is you believe totally in astrology, completely real. I literally, dude, I literally could like... 
if I follow the system of just believing in in myself and my instinct, energy I, literally I is time. real. Yeah, people. Yeah, mm-hmm. it, people try and and discredit it and make it seem stupid with like stuff like aura photography. That's stupid. That's no, dumb. Aura, I like aura photography. It's dumb. That shit's but, dumb. But but, but slot, like but, but energy. S- you can't you can't tell me you have never like walked into a place and like felt energy before. It doesn't matter yeah. if it's like. Oh, it's actually just your you. It's actually because you don't like the store. It's like, well, duh. I don't like it because it has bad energy. One time uh, I was in Provincetown. I walked into a. Don't like say this, there was bad energy. You are a weird energy from some no, no, some no, 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 women. No, no there is. A, I dancing. went into a place that was selling like gems and like stones, like a pla- like a place where people go to buy vibes. Yeah, and they had a big Almond Brothers tapestry, and I was like, "Why the fuck? Did bad. They have, why do they have an?" Almond Brothers. That's dad. Like, bad chi. Yeah, that, yeah. like uh, Grateful Dead. That one, you know, I mean, it's it's a staple. It makes sense. But like the Almond Brothers, like Peach thing. I was like, man, what the f-? like? It's it says Almond Brothers too. And then like the lady behind the counter went like, I'm sorry, I just have to go outside real quick. And to her coworker, and she was like, Oh, why? What's what's going on? She's like, I don't know. Just some people in the store have negative energies and like stood <laughs> outside oh, and damn. like meditated like in the front of, of you? the store. Because of yeah. you. dude, you you like uh-huh. attacked her physically. Dude, I, I'm a negative force in this world. I, I deplete energy. I you take you're energy a, you're, away. A, you're you you're a vampire on women. <laughs> no, you suck their energy out. Yeah, I'm not a vampire you drain them. On women. You just proved I'm it. a vampire you prey on, on everybody, them. dude. Oh, I don't say that. That's, just women. Come on. No, I'm a vampire. Why would you rather say everybody instead of just half the people? Because I'm, I'm I'm depleting energy. What? I go in. I destroy vibes. I'm you're make, a vibe destroyer. I'm a vibe destroyer. I make. You're a vibe cannon. Mm-hmm. Oh. You're an energy predator. I don't believe in energy except <laughs> <laughs> an energetic predator, right? That, yeah. yeah, yeah. An energetic. That's, energe- what, you that's, call, per- that's yeah, what you energetic call someone predator. Like yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't. What? Don't call me the predator. Not a, okay. pre- a, you're neg- not a, you're a not negative a, predator. <laughs> negative predator sounds like an that sounds insanely really good cool. hardcore band. Yeah, that, that sounds true. sick. Yeah, that yeah. sounds pretty good. Yeah. I don't believe in energy. Also, honestly, they'd be called predator because they were a hardcore band. Yeah, <laughs> true. Yeah. Uh, number nine. What I may be this one will blow your mind. What I may be seeing as green may be seen by someone else as red. It's just that we both have been taught since childhood to call that particular color green. True. That's true. My I, yeah. I one time my brother this, said that to me when I was a kid, and then I was like. What are you talking about? And he just said, butterfly effect. <laughs> <laughs> so then I watched that movie. <laughs> I watched that movie, and I thought that that was going to be like it, a part of the movie. It's, it's not. not. No, it's no, not at all. Dude, you, you... Butterfly effect. <laughs> I saw that movie so many times when I was a kid. That's a mind crusher, dude. Yeah, dude. When, when you're, you're like, a kid, dude, that's it's like on, the they, first... Like, when you stay home from school, they play that on FX Because you're not smart so enough much. to see what's, like, philosophical about the Matrix, but uh-huh. there's something that is just so in your face, like, annoying about it. When you're a kid, it's all you understand. Yeah. So, dude, the butterfly effect really blew nose. my goddamn mind when I was nine. Hey, it blew that pregnant lady's mind when she opened up that mailbox. Mm-hmm. Remember that? Yep. She exploded. And then the dog in the bag, dude. Dude, D in the B. Yeah, <laughs> dude. I never saw it. I saw. I've seen the butterfly effect probably a hundred times. What? What? I think it's probably a hundred times. Probably fifty times. Ballpark. I think that's times. times. Fifty I, times. Fifty at, at two hours each. You spent a hundred hours of your life. Well, watching... that made for TV movie. Oh, okay. So it made the edited for minutes. TV version of the butterfly effect. You saw Kutcher tear it up. Yes. Ninety minutes. For a hundred, it, they, fifty times that when in two thousand like seven two thousand eight that was, was on big TV that was on FX all they the fucking all time the cool shit though yeah yeah pretty sad mm-hmm. like the swears yeah I love the swears yeah <laughs> that shit's uh, so cool the, that scene where he wakes up and he's going like oh, oh, oh. yeah remember that yeah uh huh the dog is in the bag and the dad's a pedophile and then. Don't spoil everything yeah, I about get it. That, I mean, but what happened in the movie? I get that you're... <laughs> that was your life. Uh, the number last 10, one. The yeah. theory of six degrees of separation. That is yeah. fascinating. I hope Kevin Bacon doesn't die. I get fascinated when I think of something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Who could we... Who, who, let's, who do we have? Let's name Elvis. someone. Elvis. So... My, I know Elvis. My uncle was Elvis. <laughs> right, one, so degree one degree of separation. <laughs> All right, somebody, somebody else. Somebody else. Yeah, okay. Who else? Um... Well, I'm Patrick's Kev- dad. Kevin, <laughs> that's that's one degree. I guess. So I know Patrick. Yeah, Patrick. Well, two degrees for us. One. No, I've met him. Yeah, like, I know Patrick. One degree. Dad. One yeah, degree. I've met him. Um, well, I mean, the obvious one is Kevin Bacon. I know so, him. 
He's one he's degree. right. He's over there. Yeah, mm. one degree. That's one. De- I, it's I would, it's actually, not even. Wait, it's can, like can, thirty feet. I can map this one. I can actually map this one. My mom watches uh, City on the Hill. One degree. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, let's just try Hitler. One yeah. degree. You know what? No, whoa, whoa, maybe for you. <laughs> it's seven for me. It's outside. I barely <laughs> lost, but it, I I did lose. Yeah, and I think I'm pretty I have proud of that. Twenty five degrees from Hitler. Twenty five yeah. degrees from Hitler. I hope he's burning at 900 I've th- degrees. I have 360 degrees from Hitler. Yeah, I got to turn around and you're, walk away yeah. from him. Mm-hmm. So you're yes, facing sir. him directly. No. 360 degrees, same direction you started from. No. Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. No, because you spun around so you could see your whole body. I, I'm 180 degrees from Hitler. Turn around and walk the other way. I don't want to be anywhere near that guy. Mm-hmm. Well, you walk all the way around the earth 360 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> and you come up behind him and you hug him. And you, you say, turn. guess who? <laughs> <laughs> I put my hands on, yeah. on his eyes like this. Yeah. Guess who? Yeah, you yeah. turn. Guess whoin. You turn 360 degrees, and then you put your arm at 45 degrees. When no. You see him. Yeah, down to point at his badass shoes. <laughs> you say, what are those? Yeah, and I say, what are those? I say, damn, These Hitler. These are my boots. I say, damn, das Hitler. Boot, das boot. Yeah. Hitler back at it again. Here's a really fascinating one from the, the contenders. Okay. Um, number 15. We're both heaven and hell. That's what? not true. It's fast. I'm just Caleb. And here's the... And I'm so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> here's the last one. Um, this one is probably the most mind-blowing of all. Mm-hmm. Number 16. Rule-based systems are inherently chaotic due to the principle of exquisite sensitivity to initial conditions. I, I completely concur. Yeah, I concur totally and utterly. I would like to respectfully disagree, but keep it open for debate. Okay. Salutations. <laughs> and... Ad- adios. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, subscribe to the Patreon. Bye. Do we, we have a thing to... Oh, no, wait. Oh, the tickets to that are sold out. Who cares? Bye.